finals, year two down in the second tier, they looked to continue their, their winning streak, made a really impressive start uh, against the team, who held them to just four points, ticked up a nice 113 in themselves, Killian Fairwell had his young team going well, looked really, really smooth in the group stages last year and, and appeared to have continued that on. Playing Brough this weekend, it's a Brough side that lost Cajon last time out, and Brough have just struggled maybe to, to get to the latter stages for the last couple of years. And, you know, not off to the best of starts again. This is one that Raquel, you know, would look to chop down for another win. Two wins out of two this year ahead of the, the, the summer break, which will be fine fettle for a knockout place. From a Brough point of view, you know, you're thinking the longer it goes on, the, the more they're stuck to the bottom end of the table. And, uh, you know, it's hard to see them altering that this weekend against a, a very smooth Raquel outfit. Cajon and Palace Green, you know, Palace Green, one of those sides playing two games in, in quick succession. Cajon coming into the game off the, the back of a, a, of a good round one win. They, they've started the season pretty well, you know, a couple of decent results in, in the Old County League, beating senior sides at Ayer and, and uh, St. Simmons. That must have been good for confidence and uh, put up a nice score the last day in their win against Brough. They, they've got to knock out stages for the last couple of years, maybe not pushed on, but uh, this game would be an interesting one for them, Palace Green. Never, never easy beaten, and it depends a lot on how Palace Green get up in their opening round game. You know, will they need to fight back, or will they have the confidence after that St. Patrick's game facing into another city side, Clahon? Third game, then, of course, is uh, St. Patrick's against Atay. Atay, you know, really disappointed, I guess, in, in round one from, from their point of view, four points in a in, in championship game of football. You know, will we'll disappoint all players in that team and, and management and everyone in the club and you know that was probably a bitterly disappointing was a defeat to Akil. You, you have to see a response in, in your next game and you know as a player you're probably happy that you get the chance to, to right that wrong the following week. You know, from their point of view, it's against the St. Patrick side relegated down from senior football last year. They should have a lot of experience in their panel, probably have Garo integrity back in their team after his hurling net spots and uh, you know Pats will, will know that when you're relegated from senior, you want to make a, an immediate response back up and be promoted. They, they will look to, to, for a game like this to get two points on the board and have themselves in a position for the latter stages of the summer. Now, all the intermediate, the three games in the intermediate football championship, they, they, they're all on, on, on Sunday night. And th 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 there's a huge West Derby involving Mount Collins and Len, both of whom were, were first round losers. And um, Len lost very, very, very disappointingly, disappointingly and heavily to neighbours, John Griffiths. And certainly the manner in which they lost and the margin in which they lost. Um, I suppose we will we'll, we'll send uh, a certain amount of, of, of um, alarm bells ringing. And Mount Collins, on the other hand, they played numbers. And um, they, they staged a, a late rally, they, they were seven or eight points down at one stage, but they, they, they eventually lost out by four. Um, they started slowly last year in the competition, grew into the competition, got a, got a, got a, got a couple of, of wins in the finish. And, and were safe from relegation. Steve Cahill is a huge player for Mount Collins. His absence, they felt, they, they won the games when, when he was back on board. Um, I, I'm going too far Mount Collins. I, I think they, 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 they will get, get away in this one. The same night also in Esteem, there is a meeting of Gerald Griffins and Kildaimo Palace Kimberley. Um, Gerald Griffiths, hugely impressive first round winners over um, Glenn. Kildaimo Palace Kimberley beaten um, in, in, in the first round and probably conceded the biggest score of the weekend, nearly when they conceded 320 to, to, to Galtley Gales. Now, it, it, interestingly, it was the first game, um, it was the first game ever at this level for for Kildare and Palace Kimberley. And and the scoreboard in, in many ways, 320 to 211, 
it, it, it belies their, 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 their performance because um, they were a point down at half time and at one stage midway through the second half um, they were actually leading and Kelty Gales, Kelty Gales got, got a run, run on them and, and, and racked up uh, I think one inch uh, a point in, 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 in the last quarter um, for a, a big win but in, in, in terms of play maybe not as big as, 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 as the scoreline would, would suggest um, it's going to be a difficult it's going to be a difficult game for Kildare Palace to really get a first win at this level. Um, Jim Griffin's um, since this is their third year up. Uh, first year they came up, they had five straight wins out of out, out of five. Last year they had two two wins and a draw in the five games. Um, they're, they're starting off in the same way this year as they did as they did two years ago. Um, and going for Griffin's in this one. It, um, the, the round will conclude with the third game and this is a very very interesting game now it's a game between two first round winners and um, Kelty Gales and Mungret St Paul's now Kelty Gales were, were junior, junior A champions and very impressive junior A champions in, in, in 2017 and uh, it must be recalled that um, they were involved in that marathon game in the Munster Club, Clubs Championship um, when they went down in, into Drummond Pierce's in, 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 in West Kerry and, and, and forced the Kerry champions to extra time. Now the expectation was um, that they would drive on last year but it just did not happen. It just did not happen. They had a, they had a notable win in the second round against Gandalay and you know that fed into the belief that that, that, that Gatti Gales were going to consolidate and and and, and, and uh, at premier level but it just did not happen they only picked up a single point after that from a draw with, with, with Castleman and were struggling and were fretting right up to the last um, to the last series of games about their status so they, they will not want that to happen again. Now, Mumbai St. Paul's have been knocking around for, 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 for the last number of years. Um, now, Mumbai St. Paul's are a dual club and they're, 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 they're playing at um, premier intermediate hurling level and doing so very successfully. Um, they topped the standings after the seven games last year. This, this is probably the, the, it's the hardest game to call on it. Um, it, it there's a great tradition of football in the Galtys, in, in particularly in Galtys Gales, Agnesborough and Kilbehany. Um, they're, they're drawn from a very, very small um, pool of, of, of players, um, but they, they have a great tradition in football and I think um, they will have learned the lesson from last year. And I, I, I think that they just might get the light of this one.